Dama, our first patient, uh, admitted is a very special case. She's going to be discharged today. She's cured. So we're going in to do her discharge shower so that even though she's not infectious, maybe some of the items that have been in uh, the confirmed tent are. So we're going to do a shower to disinfect everything, give her new clothes, and then she'll be able to walk out as a cured patient. So um, Adama arrived. Um, we knew she was pregnant. We didn't quite know exactly how far along. Um, she, she ended up losing the pregnancy um, quite early on and some complications from that extended her stay in the, in the confirmed tent with us, but she's now recovered. Um, but of course there's a lot of trauma and psychosocial support that'll need to come with, uh, with having lost a pregnancy. Also some of her family members have also died. So now this is just one part of her journey now that she's recovered, but a big step will be going home and uh, kind of the aftermath of everything that comes with Ebola. So a new, you know, having to adjust a new family and the community as well. Yo siempre decía que nunca trabajaría en un centro de ébola. Si no lo has visto, no puedes ni hacerte una idea. Es toda una población rota que ya no recibe atención médica. Atendemos a los que están más enfermos, pero hay muchísimos más en sus casas. Quienes están en un estadio más avanzado de la enfermedad no están solos. Nosotros estamos aquí con ellos. Somos su única esperanza de salir adelante. Nuestras puertas siguen abiertas. No vamos a marcharnos. Nos quedamos con ellos. Envía Stop Ebola al 28033. Médicos sin fronteras. Thank <laughs> you.